Today we're going to be looking at how to add your ads.txt file to your root domain using iPage. I've seen a bunch of videos helping you with WordPress and Weebly and things of that nature. Um, lots of uh, different hosts like Bluehost, HostGator, all these things. So the biggest issue that I found while doing this was some of some of the files in file manager do not they're not named quite the same thing okay so once you get in your control panel where you need to add your ads.txt from your Google AdSense will just be simply right here in root you would add a new file your ads.txt text and then you'd save it and then you'd copy and paste that right into it by clicking the edit button you paste right here now say you're like me and you have multiple websites with this what I was finding is if you pointed your domain to the root it would take on whatever builder you had and you could make all of your websites point to or your domains point to the same website so what I had to do is go to my subdirectories and domain central and see on the pointers where it pointed to then I'd come back in here and I'd find that file and you'd do the same add new file the text file as that text and you'd edit it and save it into here where or wherever your subdirectory is and it is as simple as that 